Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank and today I present you great tools. Today I have three different tools from Gogan for you that couldn't be different. I will show you each of them and then we try out something different where they are not made for. And maybe we will also find great tools for self-defense. I present you the rescue hammer the filly knife and the mini cookery. As you can see, those three tools are completely different. Nothing looks the same. They are also not made for the same um, thing. And as you can see, you can do a lot of great stuff with them. Don't worry, this wouldn't be a boring um, fact video. I just want to show you how they are in the working process. So I also don't tell you all the facts about them because I add the link in the, in the video description like every time. So today we just trying them and practice with them. I want to start with this beautiful Philly knife. As you can see at the first side, it's very, very high quality. It's so small, so thin, it fits in every pocket pocket from the jacket, from the trousers, woman pocket, work, um, work bag, it just fits everywhere and it looks and feels very beautiful. This knife is really a clue because as you can see the blade is much longer than the handle and to save the sharp part there is an extra knife sheet underneath and you can put it away if you open the knife. So now we open this beautiful piece and as you can see it's not possible to do it with one hand so and you have to be also very careful if you open it because like it should be it's very very sharp. Over the last days I had at home a slaughter and cutting day so I had, uh, I had a lot of meat at home and of course, like it is, this meat was, like nature created it, full of bones. And this knife is normally made it to, um, it's create to filly fish. So the blade is pretty thin and not so flexible like you have it from um, slaughter knives. But it was no problem for this knife to cut out all of the bones from this pig shoulder and so like it was created for fish but it's no problem to remove bones out of an animal like shoulder bones or ribs or anything like that. So this process was made from a professional butcher and as you can see it's no problem for this knife to remove all the bones and just look how it uh, how the blade come through the skin it is like butter This knife is limited. There are only 1,200 pieces. When they are sold, they are sold. So I would buy this knife definitely at my own because I like the design, I like the handling. And as you can see um, by the boning scenes, this knife fits through every bone inside of the body. So this here is the Philly knife. The next one is the mini cookery and this knife is really an all-rounder. You can use it for bushcraft, for survival. You can create a big shelter with it. You can cut your sausage with it or just can, you can bone out something. So this knife is made for everything. 
The blade shape is perfect for wood carving and also with this shape you can do a lot of stuff. So it's a folding knife, very stable. So here is a glass breaker added which is also great. So it's always perfect if you have such a feature on your knife. And as you can see here, the handle um, has those holes that your fingers fit perfectly in and you have a perfect grip. So this here is a perfect all-rounder, fits in each pocket and you can use it for whatever you would like. If you buy this knife you get also this small pocket where of course your knife fits in and you can also add some EDC. And now we come to the most brachial tool that I present you today, the rescue hammer. You know, prepping is an essential part of my life for the last several years. And if I buy, buy something new for my prepping equipment, it must be high quality, because in an extreme situation, your life depends on this tool. And I will definitely add the rescue hammer to my prepping and survival equipment. It's visible for everyone for what this rescue hammer is made for. We have here a glass breaker, then we have here a massive saw area where you also can cut the glass of your car and here those sharp area where you also can break out the glass from your car. But if you take a closer look to this area, you will also have the same idea as me that this tool is also a possibility to use it in another way. The rescue hammer has a huge weight. So, and if you get this tool at the first time in your hand and you feel the haptic, the optic, you just can say this is so high quality, it pretty looks awesome. So I would buy, buy this tool twice. Once for my prepping equipment and the second for my car. I just would add it in the pocket of the, the car uh, door that I can reach it every time. If I am in an extreme situation, like an accident or something else, but also to defense myself and use it as a self-defense tool. From the slot today I had as a leftover a lot of bones like this shoulder and now I want to find out how the combination of this area and the shoulder is if we smash them together. Wow, krass. You saw the massive effect at the shoulder. And because of this, I would definitely use the rescue hammer also as a self-defense tool. Why? So if you defend yourself with a knife, you only have the small area from the blade. But here you have those frightening sharp edge and here at the down you can just add your fingers, grab it, have the wall tool pretty fixed and now you can reach out and have the attacker at a brighter space away or also knock them out. So no matter what your interests are, knife lover, prepper, survival, just car driver, whatever, with this tool you will nothing, you will don't do anything wrong. So this here is not limited. You also, you only have the first production run, but so this rescue hammer is also used by fire workers because it's just great. This tool can pretty save lives, yourself and the life from others. So this is a try. I try to imitate the voice, uh, the voice of Jörg Sprave, but I'm pretty sure I can't reach it anyways. So 
Imagine there is a horde of zombies running towards you and you grab the rescue hammer and cut away their heads. <laughs> okay, I, I can't do this. When you buy the rescue hammer you also got this practical holder for your um, belt. So if you want to carry it, it's possible with it. So I would buy two, one for prepping and one for the car. So this here was the last tool that I want to present you today. And this is my personal favorite because I really like the idea behind it. It pretty can save your life and also the life of others. You can defend yourself and rescue other people in difficult situations. So feel free to write in the comments which of the knives is your favorite. So they are effective. All of them are effective in their own way. They are pretty difficult, but all high quality and all of them can save your life in a special situation. And I just love each of them. Feel free to write in the comments which is your favorite. And of course, I will add you all the links to the products here down in the video description. And I will also add some of the videos from Jörg Sprave because he tell you all the important information about um, what, uh, what materials are used, the knife length and all those important stuff. So I'm out for today. I hope you liked the video and stay safe.